Hey, Tony, since it's just you and me this semester for pre-algebra, I wanted to record a little introduction for you. Um, first of all, this is Blackboard here. Let me uh, step back, and I'll actually take you to how to log into it. Now, if you go to WITC's main site, WITC.edu, on top, Blackboard is actually one of the main links up there, but there's also My Campus. Either one will take you to Blackboard. You click on My Campus, and you log in here. Where it's going to take you is here. Oops, I got to log back in. I've timed out. <clears throat> so where it's going to take you is this page here. And this page, like I said, the other log will take you directly to bank Blackboard, but this page here gets you to log into all of your WITC things. For you, the big ones, of course, Blackboard and then your office email. <clears throat> um, it's Office 365 email is what it's labeled as to get to your WITC email. The rest of that, probably not so useful for you. So once you click on Blackboard, it'll take you to this page here, and then of course you'll select our class, <clears throat> which is probably the only one you'll have out there for this. <clears throat> so once you get into Blackboard, you'll see an announcement here, which you would see would look more like this. Let me shut off my edit here. There we go. So you'll see that message out there. So the big thing you'll need to have done by this Wednesday, so over the next couple days, is you're going to need to get registered in my math lab. That information is right here. So you are required to go to my, www.mymathlab.com, and you're going to click register. Let me show you how to do that right now. So you go to mymathlab.com. You'll see over here, this is the sign-in. Once you're registered, that's how you'll get into it. But for right now, to register, you have to go down here where it says register now, and you're going to click as student. It's going to tell you you need one of, well, you're going to need a few things. You need your email address. I highly recommend you use your WITC email address. If there are any issues um, later on, it's much easier to help with those issues if you're using your WITC email address. Um, you'll need your course ID. That's right here on our main page. The HOFF00945 is the course ID. And either your access code or a credit card to pay. Um, if you bought the textbook, that access code is in that card. Usually it's in the front cover or back cover of the textbook. You got a little silver scratch off like a lottery ticket, which has your access code in it. So you click register now. <clears throat> This is where you put in the, the course number. That's the HOFF00945. So that's telling my math lab that you need my course. Now, if you have an account, you can use that. Um, you took business math, so you may still have an account out there. So if you uh, use, if you remember your username and password from before, you can use those in here to sign in. Otherwise, you can create a new account. And that's going to take you through putting all your information in, so I'm not going to do that right now. And then after you've done that, you'll either need that code from your book if you bought it, or you'll need a credit card to purchase access. Okay, so then after that, once you've done all that, you will be registered in my map. And then next time you go in, you'll just click sign in. And now I have, you'll still have to put in your username and password. <coughs> Again, I suggest you just use your email address for your username. You should only have one class here, your spring pre-algebra. And assignments will appear It's a little slow logging in today. Assignments that are coming up will appear here for you. So you can see here, um, homework one is due January 28th. That's next Monday. Quiz one is due January 29th. Homework two, due January 30th. That'll be on Wednesday of next week. Quiz two is then the next day, that Thursday. So typically, homework is due. I'm going to go to a page here.
So each week you'll typically have homework assignments due on Monday and Wednesday. Those are typically due at class time. So you can see it says 1 p.m. So that's class time with a little couple extra hours. Um, I do that for the in-class students so that you know, if they have questions on the homework in class, it gives them an hour and a half, a couple hours to, to finish up the homework assignments before they're due. So they're not late. Quizzes then. Now, homework assignments, all the homework for the semester is open right now. You can work ahead if you want to. Um, I don't recommend getting too far ahead, of course, because you, you lose track of the material. Quizzes are due pretty much every Tuesday and Thursday. And those are due at midnight, 11.59 p.m. So you have, and they typically open on Monday or Wednesday, depending on when they're due. Usually, I believe it's like 10 o'clock or 9 o'clock here. Well, here, let's go. We'll find that exact time for you here quick. Here's the total list, by the way. You won't be able to see this, but it is due at, it starts at 8 a.m. and goes until 11.59 p.m. the next day. So you have most of a two-day period. You, know, you have, uh, it's like 40 hours to complete those quizzes. Those quizzes need to be done within that time window. So that quiz will open up on Monday at 8 a.m. and it'll close that Tuesday at 11.59 p.m. Same, another quiz will open on Wednesday at 8 a.m. and it'll close on Thursday at 11.59 p.m. There will not be a quiz this Thursday. Um, the first quiz is going to be next week on Monday because the first homework isn't due, due until next week, Monday. So that next quiz, um, the quizzes correspond with the homework. You do homework one, quiz one, they'll cover the same material, just in a little bit different manner. The difference is going to be um, what's available to help you with that assignment. If I'm just going to click preview here, you, to get to these, of course, you do, <coughs> you'd click on homework and it'd take you, you'll see here's the list of all the homework assignments for the whole semester sitting there waiting for you. Click on quizzes and tests. See right now, none of the quizzes are listed because they're not open yet. That first quiz won't open until Monday the 28th at 8 a.m., so nothing's out here. These tests are not the tests. This is just a basically a posting telling you when the test is going to be. Your first test is, your first unit test is February 7th. That's paper and pencil in class. So for you, Tony, you'll have to let me know who your proctor is and where to send that to. Um, give that to me about four or five days ahead of time, a week ahead of time at the most, and then I'll get the test to them. And then, you know, anytime within about a two or three day window there, you can get that test taken and have it sent back. And we'll talk a little bit more about those once we get there. Tests, by the way, are open book, open notes. Of course, everything on my math lab is open book, open notes as well, because, well, I can't see you, so... You can get away with whatever you need to do for those. Okay, so for homework. Now, this first home, first couple of homeworks are longer because it's review topics, you know, 56, 59 questions here, actually. They're not all going to be that long, I promise, but these should go fairly quick. Battle vocabulary and stuff like that in here. If you're doing the homework, oh, that's not a very good one. Let's do one that has a calculation in it. As you, if you're doing the homework, as you, if you're stuck, like this one here, is an order of operations problem. If you have no idea how to do it, you have some options over here. Where it says question help. <coughs> you have help me solve this, view an example, video, textbook, ask my instructor. Let's just go backwards up through here. 
Ask my instructor. If you click that, it'll send me an email. They'll give you a chance. You can put a message in there. They'll send me an email saying, I'm, this is the question I'm having trouble on. If you send me an email otherwise and just say, I'm having problems on question number three in the homework, um, that doesn't work out so well because these are computer-generated questions. They're algorithmic, which means you log in and, and look at a question. I log in and look at it. It might be a different question. So your question three and my question three will not be the same. So if you tell me you've got a, you had a problem on question three, I have no way of knowing what your question is. You have to hit that Ask My Instructor button. It'll send me, then it'll send me a copy of the question you're working on. And you can type in what you're having problems with. Um, a lot of times you know what to do. You just, sometimes it's hard to enter it electronically into a computer. Um, textbook. If you hit textbook, that'll actually take you to the page in the textbook, or the section in the textbook that covers this topic. If you click on that, I was a little slow to load here, depending on your internet connection. It's taking you to page 55 in the textbook, it appears. And there it is. That's the part on exponents and order of operations that you would need. And you can actually flip forward and back. I'm not going to wait for the next page to load. You can click video. That would actually take you to a short video presentation on questions like this. View an example. Gives you a sample question. And that's going to walk you through it step by step. So you just hit continue. It'll tell you the next step. And you keep going from there. So it walks you through step by step. Once you're done, you hit close. The next one, similar to, to view an example, has helped me solve this. That is actually going to step you through this problem step by step. And it's going to make you do some of the work. So it'll tell you what the first step is. And that's going to tell you to do the first step. So 4 plus 16 divided by 4, you've got to divide the 16 divided by 4 first. You've got to put 4 in there. 16 divided by 4 is 4. So you check that, and then it moves on to the next step. So it tells you the next step is to add the 4 plus 4, which is 8. Then it moves on to the next step. Next step is the 11 minus 9, which is 2. And then finally, the 8 divided by 2 gives you the 4. So you've got it right. Now, once you hit close here, you're going to notice, watch this question up here closely as I hit close. See, the numbers automatically change. So it doesn't give you credit for the question just for doing the help me solve this. You still have to go back and answer the question. It changes the numbers for you so you can redo it. Now, let's say you do the question and you get it wrong. You can redo it three times. You can see here I've got it wrong twice so far. Oh, crap. I accidentally guessed the right answer. Um, so anyway, I'm going to purposely guess the wrong answer three times here. <coughs> so I got it wrong three times. Notice it says I can go on to the next question. You just say, you know what? I don't get this. I'm just going to go on. Or you can say similar question. It'll change the numbers and let you try three more times. And you can keep doing that to your company. I'm going to close that down. So, yes, yeah, so you can see right here, it'll tell you it's due 128 at 1 p.m. That's going to be Central Standard Time. Actually, until March, it's Central Time. Until March, then it'll go to Central Daylight Time. So anyway, and of course, those are deadlines for the homework. Those deadlines are soft deadlines. It will let you keep working past the deadline. And I recommend you have it done by the deadline just because you need that to do the quiz. Your quizzes, like I said, there's no quizzes out there right now because they're not going to open up until next Monday. Quizzes are hard deadlines. Um, when you when the deadline hits on the quiz, it will shut down. It'll cut you off from working, and it'll refuse to let you back in. So those are hard deadlines. You have to make sure you get the quiz done within that window. If something's coming up so that you, and you don't think you're going to be available during that time, let me know, and I will go back and adjust those times if there's you know, something coming up.
Okay, so that is it for my math lab. That's the big thing there. Let's go back to Blackboard. They said this is the announcements. The only other places where things are going to be important for you, my grades, if you click on that, they'll give you a list of assignments you've done and what your grades are. Right now, there are no grades in here because we haven't had any assignments, so that's pretty empty. Um, first homework and quiz will go in next week. The big one here is course information. So course, course information, there's my contact information. Of course, you already have that. Syllabus is here. We'll go over that in just a second. My weekly schedule, which we'll go over in a second as well. And then, of course, class videos. Let's do my weekly schedule first here. Actually, I don't need to open that. I already got it open on my desktop. So there's my weekly schedule. You can see we do have scheduled times for this class. I will be in my classroom. I will make sure I check email about those times on those days. I'm just to be available for you to answer questions. Otherwise, I do try to check email. Usually during this block of open time, I'll check email every morning anyway. So, and I do not check email after I leave here at night. So if you email me after four o'clock or so at night, I'm probably not going to get it till the next morning. Just be aware. Syllabus, let's go back up to that. So this is pre-algebra. It's a course that's it's made to meet the prereqs for other course courses. We do kind of a survey of math, um, operations with, with real numbers. Um, we do algebra, polynomials, statistics, a little basic geometry and measurement. So a little bit of everything to prepare you for your other courses you might want to take. Textbook is published from Prentice Hall. It's Blair, Toby, and Slater, um, pre-algebra. Note that if you're buying it somewhere other than our bookstore, you do have to have the access to my math lab. Or if you'd prefer not to buy the textbook, you saw that my math lab has the electronic textbook in there. You can just purchase access to my math lab. You will need a scientific calculator for this. Students ask me all the time if they can use their cell phone. I don't mind if you use your cell phone, but most cell phone calculators are a lot trickier to use, and most of them don't do fractions Competencies, again, operations with real numbers, solving equations, using algebraic expressions, solving problems with equations, percents, ratios, and proportions, polynomials, um, graphing, and statistics, and then, of course, some basic geometry. So for your grade in here, 80% of your grade comes off of those four unit tests and those quizzes. The other 20% of your grade is homework and participation. You know, the homework assignments, you'll notice only going to the grade book is two points each. Um, don't blow them off because there's a lot of them, and those points will come back to hurt you in a hurry. Um, but the other part of that 20% is class participation. Do you have your assignments done on time? Or, um, you know, do you respond in a timely manner if I, if I send you something since you're not actually in the classroom? Um, the biggest place people get hurt there is if I have to start reopening a bunch of quizzes for them, or if I see on the homework, again, it lets you work past the deadline, but it puts a little star by your grade so I know that you went past the due date on it. If I see a lot of that happening, you do start to lose some of those. Okay, we've already gone over my math lab. Grading scale is the standard WITC grading scale. If for some reason you do need to withdraw, um, the deadline comes up um, late March, early April. Um, make sure you talk to me before you do that, though, because... Usually there's something we can work out so that you don't have to drop the course. Academic integrity, well, you're the only one in the class, so there's nobody for you to, to work with, so we don't have to really worry about that. Accommodations, if there's anything you need, please let me know. Whether it's diagnosed disability or just whatever, please let me know and I'll work with you. And of course, then the videos. Um, we do have recordings that will be posted. I will be making some that are unique to this class for you, like this one and others. I'll use some pre-made recordings since you're working online that cover the material that, that we'll be covering in here. And then those are our four sections. Our first one's whole numbers, algebra and problem solving. We got fractions, decimals, then geometry and statistics. So if you have any questions on that, please shoot me an email. 
you've had my classes before, so you know a little bit about how I work. Um, you'll know that on the tests, once you do the tests, you can redo the problems you got wrong and send those back in for partial points. I will make sure I go over that again with you more once we get to the first test. For right now, I believe that is all we need to cover. So I will post this video. We'll be posted on Blackboard soon for you, along with some other videos on introductory material. And if you have any questions, like I said, please send me an email right away. Your only assignment for, for Wednesday <clears throat> by this Wednesday, make sure you are registered and ready to go in my math lab. It has to be set up. That's the only thing that will be due for Wednesday. Starting Wednesday, then, we'll, be, we'll start lecturing on our new classroom material, and there will be homework due on that for Monday. The way it's the class is set up, Monday and Wednesday are lecture days. Thursday is set up as a, um, like a workshop day. So if we were in the classroom, we'd lecture Monday, Wednesday, Thursday. If there was anything I needed to finish up for the week, I would finish it up on Thursday, and then we'd have work time in class to answer questions on homework, um, work through you know difficult problems or giving you trouble, or just to give you time to work. So there will be new material posted here, new videos posted here for you every Monday and Wednesday to view. And like I said, the homework's out there. So if you want to get started, once you get into my math lab, if you want to start on the first homework or two, please feel free to go ahead. Okay, so that is it. Um, like I said, let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, I'll be posting more. Um, I have some videos from last semester I'll be posting for you so you can get, get working on stuff and so you don't have to wait for the class time to have the videos. And I'll be sending an email to make sure you are up and running. So have a great day.